Oh, has he got poop? Yeah. Told you not to play there. Which one? Hi, little boy. Hey, little boy. What are you looking at? Huh? Well, I'm going to make some more of these. Oh, okay. What are you looking at? Kyle. What were you looking at? What are you looking at? Huh? Huh? Leave me alone. 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 Leave me Smile, say cheese. I want a good one to you, boy. I didn't say why. I said to say, there you go. <laughs> Get out of here. Something else ugly, too. <laughs> you, you could Look at Maddie. Look at Maddie. You think you're very good at it? Too much. Maddie said they were ugly, too, but she told me. Laurie says, don't talk with your mouth on, but he picks his teeth with his fingers. Instead of using a toothpick. Instead of using a toothpick. Gotcha. Gotcha. Wait a minute. It isn't. Get over there, Scott. Show the call. There you go. Something's wrong here. How come this is so dark? You're a perfect toy. Your daddy was a toy. How come it's so dark? Cover your eyes. Oh, it's, no, it's still too dark. That's way too dark. It's not that dark in here. Look. Open that door. Open that. Leave them alone. Me too. Yeah. It's got turned down. Somebody got turned down. Oh, the kids are touching them. Somebody touched them. Yeah, that guy. Somebody was messing with it. Where is he? Scott, now tell Paul. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Open. <laughs> okay, Paul. <laughs> Did you look? Paul. Now, Scott. <laughs> Paul, look at him. Oh. Hurry up. You look him on the <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> that makes him mad. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Mandy, did you Go look? There. Okay, girl. Okay, Mom's looking at Dad. Put it down, Dad. Help. Kyle, no, down. I don't need to help. Scott, I'm doing my job. Give him here, Dad. Yeah, give it, give it to him. Then didn't say what year this was. Move your head, sis. Oh, that's okay. 1993. I'll get you tape up, sucker. Yeah. I wanted to watch her open it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get it all. Mom, you spelled there wrong. Probably just pick that right up, didn't you? C I E R. Okay. Now tell me you got everything. What is it? Just lift the top if you want. Pull it to the It is everything the now, huh? Right. It's safe. Oh. Fireproof safe. Oh, all oh, right. Yeah. Move the paper out for me. First. Somebody must think we're loaded. <laughs> <laughs> You want before Christmas? Hey, the secret <laughs> there. I wouldn't let nobody see. <laughs> I don't know where they are, though. I can see That's it. Nice. You shut up. Man. That is nice. It has mounts on the bottom that you can mount it on the floor. You didn't. Grandma, so you get all your money and then lose the code. You didn't tell the grandkids the code number, did you? We don't know. <laughs> nobody looked at it. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Yeah. Is it turning, Andy? Is that tape turning? Did you see the shelf in it? Jason. 
I like yeah. it. Be good. I can get rid of that mom. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I want one of them. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> they're nice. Yeah, they are. You like it then? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's yeah. the chance. It's like I said, what do you give somebody that's got everything? I know it. Well, that Randy's something else. And I thought of that and thought, oh, they don't have one, and that would be neat. Really, you that would be really neat. Us. You're not hiding. Because <laughs> I always worry about the pictures you can never recall. Randy is a dog, and I thought you could. Would you call me? I said, Randy. No, that's that really is a common one. Randy is a doggy bummy. I don't know where they are. What's on the door, Lord? What's on the door? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's on the door? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
Hey, Cody, Kyle, don't fart. <laughs> don't blow the balls up. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> he doesn't even see you. He's there waving to Randy. Put your hand. They don't know it's on. Is that yours, Yvonne? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. I had to go over there especially to see what he got. Ready? Hers and hers. <coughs> he wrote me a letter. Like a little piece here. Yeah. Did you see it? Okay, the day after Christmas, and I forgot to get a picture of our new kitchen. Kitchen. There's the fridge and the table, chairs, new carpet. be able to see it's not very clean looks like a bomb hit here cabinets again sink cabinet fridge also with our ovens built in our oven and our microwave and more cabinets and the blinds which I'll pause for a minute you can turn them silver or gray I meant you can turn them silver or black I think these kids come over here and try to figure out this game. There's Brandy, Fliffany, oh, Tiffany, and Sean. Oh, Shane. There. <laughs> Almost had that. He's growing up. He's, his voice is changing, he thinks, so he talks a little bit deeper. My voice has changed. <laughs> <laughs> Face has turned red too. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> you got zits? No, I don't. I got too many of them. Smile, Brandy. Oops. Oops. Wait a minute. Uh, that's pretty good right there, I think. Okay, this will be the last one. Oh. I got this too. There, I can get y'all. I can get y'all. 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 Okay, do you want to give them that? Get you some presents. See if it's under the tree. See if your name's on anything under there. Should be a name there. They come over for Christmas about three days late. Is that Shane? What does it say? I don't think that's it. Is it is there's wrapped like that? No, that's not it. Ha ha. Okay, there's one. Did you? Yeah. Okay. We'll see how you figured it out. All right. Is that working now? 
Why don't I have you quit on it? I wonder what's wrong with right that. Shot the plane, the record button's on. Now it's moving. Hmm? It's moving now. Is it? Ha mm ha! -hmm. It can't be, I ain't playing. Okay, go over there and then let me get this again. You like your present? Yep. Let's see what it is. Thank you! <laughs> What did you say? What did you say? What? You're a brat, you know what? You love to what? Turn it over, we'll see if we can get a picture of it. Oh yeah. Showing. Okay. There's one, two, and three. Board for new parolees. Parole agents and local cops tell convicts there's going to be a lot of people out there watching you once you're released. The main goal for these officers of parole is to help people succeed outside of prison and never go back. Until recently, when an inmate left prison on parole, days, sometimes weeks passed before they saw their parole officer. They generally get out with, uh, with no job, um, not much money. Some get out with uh, very little family support. The result? Parolees would often end up back in prison after a violation, usually for drugs or alcohol use. You can't take the alcoholic, put him in the bar and say don't drink. Do you know what happens now if you get involved with a firearm? So now, every Tuesday, high-risk inmates leave prison and report here. This is what we call our police board. Obviously everything we're trying to do is, is to give you a better chance to succeed on this parole. We'd like to see you succeed. Um, if you don't, then, then we're going to be there also. The board consists of parole agents, local police, and gang detectives. The group tells parolees what they have to do to stay straight, get treatment, and find work. We're not trying to beat these people down. We are trying to impress upon them from day one when they get on parole that uh, they are going to be accountable to, uh, to the community and to law enforcement. Hey! Hello. How's it going? And that means unannounced home visits to ensure parolees follow the terms of their release. The ultimate goal is to, to help the offender um, become a law-abiding citizen and go on with their life and put the criminal activity behind them. It's got to be done. I mean, you know, um, uh, hopefully soon I'll be off parole. Uh, got a pretty good parole officer. You know, it's fair. If I had something like that back two or three paroles ago, I probably would have done all right. Guys like Shane Braun need all the help they can get. Braun is a former gang member who originally went to prison for a drive-by shooting. This is his third time on parole, and he wants it to be his last. Yeah, that's they're, they're letting you know they ain't playing around. Well, Shane's absolutely right. These guys are not messing around. How do we know? Well, Fox 13 News went along with the parole officers as they checked up on the parolees taking part in this police board. Coming up at 9.45, we'll show you what they found when they made an, an unannounced visit to Shane's house. Keeping ex-cons from going back to prison has long been a daunting challenge for parole and probation officers. Now a new Utah program seems to be making a positive impact. Fox 13's Scott McCain is back now with part two of his special report. Scott? The police board is aimed at parolees like Shane Braun. 
The former gang member first went to prison for a drive-by shooting. This is his third time on parole. This is just letting you know that not only are we going to be at your residence, but don't be surprised if some of the local police departments are after your house also. Including local gang officers. You kind of growing out of the gangs, it sounds like. You don't want to gang bang anymore, correct? Huh? What about the dope stuff? They need to know that we're aware of them. And we're not getting there. It's a, it's a zero tolerance at this point with these guys. But it's also about offering assistance. They let you know the whole scenario, you know, instead of just what your PO says, all right, well, if you do this and this and this, you're going back. They let you know, all right, look, we're not playing around. And then they're also there to help you. It's their choice. We just facilitate their success or return to prison, whichever they choose. The board meeting is followed up by several home visits. This curfew thing, you've got to abide by. It's not a, there should be no gray area. We got you in treatment. Uh-huh. You made a payment. Mm -hmm. And now we need to get you working. Yeah, I know. I'm what happened today? The parolees say it helps to have things laid out, know what's expected of them, and have officer follow-up. I know they're watching me, so I'm going to have to be good anyway. I want to anyway. They are trying to help. They don't want you in. They don't want to see your face in here anymore. So far, so good for Shane Braun. Agents check in on him unannounced and are encouraged by what they see. Braun is looking for work, enrolled in an anger management class, and he's sober. We'll get out of here. Have a good night. You too. We'll see you on Thursday. Thursday. All right? All right. See ya. All good first steps. He is doing the right thing. He is. As of today, we're hoping that these reentry initiatives in the end will reduce the prison population and in turn reduce the uh, uh, population of offenders in the community. Now, this police board also has some federal muscle behind it. Parolees are considered restricted persons and not allowed to have firearms. Now, in conjunction with the Operation Safe Streets program, any parolee caught with a gun or even a bullet automatically faces federal prison time, an added incentive for parolees to play by the rules and successfully complete their probation. Bob and Hope.